buckle up everybody because this is going to be one hell of a ride. I'm going to be taking the DJI Mini 3 Pro and testing one of its built-in safety features to the absolute maximum. There is absolutely no doubt this is going to raise some pulses and essentially this could be the very last time I see my DJI Mini 3 Pro. Yes, the test is going to be that stressful, that serious and has the potential to give an untimely demise to my precious little drone. So let's get into it. <laughs> Now most of you are going to know that the DJI Mini 3 Pro has got a safety feature called Return to Home. Most of you are also going to know that the Mini 3 Pro has got obstacle avoidance sensors on the front and most of you are going to say where on earth are you going with this one. What I'm going to do on this video is I am going to fly my drone, put an obstacle between myself and the drone returning to home and what we're going to test to see if this drone will actually hit that obstacle or whether it will actually bypass it. Now you're going to say well yeah okay Gavin but the manual says that the drone has got the ability to sense an obstacle during a return to home situation. Yes but what I'm going to be doing is raising the ante and I'm going to be using this in sport mode. Now if we consult the manual yes the drone does say it will actively detect obstacles during a return to home situation, but by the same token, it also says that in sport mode, obstacle avoidance is not available. So what will happen? Now, I'm in a bit of a situation here because I need to find something I could potentially hit, bearing in mind the minimum return to home altitude is 20 meters. So I'm really going to put the drone up in the uh, and risk it because I'm going to be flying straight on towards a power line. Yes, it's not ideal. Yes, I do not normally take these sort of risks on this channel, but ultimately I just thought, well, at the end of the day, somebody somewhere might make this mistake, have their drone uh, near a power line accidentally, uh, the drone may disconnect um, and it might start to return to home. And if you've not set your return to home high enough for it to high go above, then of course the drone could potentially hit it. Um, so I thought I'd just test that out. So this is going to be a wild one. Now, um, what essentially we are looking to happen is if it does work in sport mode, the drone should potentially fly up to the obstacle, sense the obstacle, stop, reverse back, fly over it till it no longer detects an obstacle and then return to home. So let's just crack on straight with this video and see exactly what happens. So just to be perfectly clear, yes, I do have the drone in visual line of sight. I have set the home point and I have physically walked um, to the point where I can see what the drone is going to do. Uh, but just to further raise the ante, of course, because I'm heading towards an obstacle, essentially I'm not going to be able to really intervene or act because the whole point of this is it's the test so by the time we find out if it doesn't work we will have hit the obstacle it's just gonna either hit it or it's going to do exactly what the manual says even though it doesn't tell us it's going to do it in spot mode so let's execute the test then so as you can see i've set the return to home altitude at 20 meters uh, that's the minimum return to home altitude we can actually set on the dji fly app and what i'm going to do now is just literally set the drone um, so it's in perfect line between itself um, and the return to home location of course with the basically the pull in the way to see exactly what's going to go on. Now guys, I'm incredibly nervous for this. This is going to be a one hell of a test just to see what happens. But of course, well, let's just, let's just do it. Let's just see what happens because this could be an incredible fail or an incredible success. So there we go. Let's hit the return to home then and just see exactly what does happen. So yeah, we're returning to home, returning to home. We're getting closer, we're getting closer, we're getting closer. Uh, oh, it's stopped, it's paused. Right, what's gonna happen now? Okay, it is backing up. Yep, it's raising up exactly like the manual says it should. Oh, and it is flying over. Yep, perfect. Oh God, guys, you can see just how close we got. So let's just replay that so you can see that all over, all over again, because of course, by the time the, the drone has took off to return to home, the, the, I can't intervene, I can't stop it because it's traveling and accelerating at such a rate that it's either gonna hit it or it's not. And as you can see, um, even in sport mode, despite the fact that the manual tells us that the obstacle avoidance is turned off and it doesn't specifically say it will work in sport mode uh, with the um, during a return to home situation, as you can see, it kind of does. Um, so that's pretty down incredible. Uh, so just one more time, let's just run that footage again 
and you can see just how close we got but ultimately this return to home safety feature does actually seem to work in sport mode and yeah it doesn't have a particularly long video guys but yeah this is absolutely incredible and yeah many of you may not like this at what i've just done or the location and what's in the way but obviously it's the only obstacle i can find because i'm not going to start risking crashing into a building and potentially in a populated area so that was basically all i had to work with <laughs> i'm kind of lost for words um that was an incredibly close shave. I hope you appreciate what I've actually tried to test in this video. Um, incredible. But as you just saw, the DJI Mini 3 Pro um, did detect the obstacle. Um, even though it was in sport flight mode, it did stop. It backed up. It raised above the obstacle and it flew above it. And essentially, that is an absolutely great safety feature. Um, so for those of you that was wondering or have ever wondered, because like I said, I've not seen this test done on YouTube whatsoever by anybody else, if obstacle avoidance does work, or at least a demonstration of it during return to home, there you go. And for my testing anyway, it did work in sport mode as well. Disclaimer, I use at your own risk. It worked for me. Um, I'm not responsible if you go crashing your drone. I'm sorry. Um, it did work. You just saw that. But ultimately, I think that's incredible. And it just goes to show the technology that goes into drones such as this one. This is by far my favorite drone, the DJI Mini 3 Pro. Um, I used to love my original Mavic Mini, but this thing just trumps everything. So, guys, please do let me know what you think to this test in the comment section below. Of course, hit the thumbs up if you found it really stressful. Subscribe if you're awesome. And until next time, see you again soon.